I'm Amos the Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the open call. Now, it's very easy to get his newsletter, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right at the featured content, the opening call. You just hit that button. You hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, okay? So bottom line, you want to check it out. Just hit well, a month, six months, a year. Check it out. Basil also has about uh, approximately 10 to 12 archives on there that show you exactly how to ride that wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. I hope you had a long week, a good long weekend. I did. I hope you had a great Father's Day. It was yeah, fun. It was very good. It was. I know. I love it. I love it. So uh, these three three day weekends, you can get used to them, you know. <laughs> oh man, I think we should have three day weekends all the time, man. That's that's where it's at. You get just as much work done, man. It just depends on well, how much. You know what's interesting is that the the futures were open, and <laughs> Sunday night the futures ran up. They ran down, and they ran up very strongly. And we followed through on Monday. So even though it wasn't a market day, I thought there was a really important session. And um, I, on Sunday, I waited Saturday because I did a bunch of work I needed to go through. And on Sunday, I did my market overview uh, video for my subscribers to my opening call. And I said, I like a lot of what's going on here, even if it's just short term. The fact is that some kind of relief rally should come early next week. And the reason I looked at that was, if you see this little tiny doji candle here, this is the daily chart on the left of the Dow, and the middle is the weekly, yes. and the right is monthly. This tiny little doji candle came about just as the unbalanced volume. I don't usually talk about the MACD and stochastic, although I use them all the time, as being overbought, oversold, because... <laughs> The stochastic holding strongly above 95% is fantastic. It's usually great. And if it's underneath 10%, uh, which is the exact opposite of being over 90%, this is on the way down, 10%, that's usually a negative. But I do use the on-balance volume as very overboard. And you can see right here on the, what was that? That was the 27th of May. The on-balance volume made a high and then turned down quite sharply. And that's almost where we got that turn in the Dow at 33,272. So a couple of things I liked very much. I like the fact that I went through all, whoops, I went through all the Dow stocks, 30 stocks. And while I didn't get any real buy signals, many of them were extremely oversold and ready for at least a bounce. That was number one. Number two, the fact that I had this little um, small doji candle, which can either be a halfway market. You can see this long one here was like a halfway market to the downside. It could also be a reversal candle. So I like that. I like the fact that the unbalanced volume, which when it gets oversold or overbought, that's the one thing that can turn with the price of whatever we're following. So we, we went along on Friday, and I, I needed the confirmation that we'd have a, a, the futures would be up over the weekend, and thank goodness they were. So this is a very good follow through. But um, until the Dow, you can see this pink line here is a nine period moving average, and way above it, that, and that's at 30,877. Way above it at 31,249 is the 14 period moving average. So to get these to cross so that the pink turns green because it's above the 14 will take oh, at least 31,500, uh, 31,600. So I like to go step by step. So we've got the first initial turnaround. That's important. It's still the day is young. We've got 35 minutes to go. Anything can happen. But so far, this is good because I said to subscribers today that if after 1.30 or 2 o'clock, the Dow is holding strongly to the upside and the VIX is pulling back and the VIX is now at 29.64, that's the volatility index, that will at least allow the Dow to close strongly because if there was a failure, we would have had that by about 2 o'clock. So, so far, this is good action. So that's just one step. The other is that in looking at a number of the um, – and, and as I say, we went long on Friday already, so we're long via the diamonds. But also looking at the different uh, Dow stocks, uh, we also took a position in IBM. This is the first, I can't even remember when last I ever looked at IBM as a long position. But one of the reasons is 
Look how it held. Look how the market. Look, the uh, IBM was at one forty four. Just uh, where was it on the sixth of June? Then the market took a huge dive, and you look, look. IBM only went down to one thirty two. So my my reasoning is that we've seen Microsoft, Adobe, and you can just go through the list of stocks from the year two thousand that just got hammered, had almost 90% or sometimes even more of a decline and then morphed. They, they reinvigorated their company and, and thought through the, the process of what they need to do. And most of them went on to new all-time highs. So my thinking is that IBM in the AI and uh, information technology and the cloud, there's a chance that they have finally got something right. So I'm, we, we took a long position, and it's at this particular point, there's a lot of uh, evidence on the upside that we will need to confirm that it's going to go much higher. The fact that it held well on the downside, we've seen stocks that have held well, and when the market broke to the upside, they didn't do very much. In this case, it was really important to see what it did today, and it's up $3.12 at 138.14. So... I'd go one step at a time, but I'm I'm kind of putting it in the Dow category as kind of for me it's it's a kind of a visual icon because if IBM is able by this coming Friday or early next week to actually trade in the 143 144 area, I think that'll be a really good sign that it, that that is you can't just look at a sector you have to look at the sector leadership and it would be surprising to everyone. If IBM suddenly became a leader in the tech, so I like the action and so far it's acting well. And we're also we're in a an, another position that we just added, that is in the um, it's kind of the former Nasdaq winners that really got beaten down. So we have an ETF that kind of represents that. And so far today it's up about four and a half percent. So we're being Basil, very when, selective. When yeah. when we get to how do you get to a a, a letter A? So you identify the low bar. Actually, let me just show you. Right, we don't know if it's the low or not. That's why. That's why I'm asking. No, oh, right. oh, that's a that's a that's a very good point. So my, my my thesis always is, we use different techniques. On the way down, I usually use the technical indicators. I use the MACD. I use the stochastic. I use the unbalanced volume. So does it have to get? Does it, does it have to get to the 14 day or the nine day to get to an A, or is it, it just? It doesn't. No, it doesn't have to. There are other techniques that I use, but most importantly, on the way up, I always use the alphabet A B C D E F G. Okay. And D yep. is where other things go. That's a very good question. Right. So on the way down, I use. I use the, look, this is a trough B in the IBM. I use that, but it isn't as important because on the way up, I'm always using the letters. And here it simply shows there's a starting position and right. then we go alphabetically, A, B, C, D, alphabetically. Yep. Cool, so, man. Yes. so that's, I mean, that's basically it. So I, we're looking at this as, I, I think this, based on the oversold action that I'm looking at, I think this can last a little longer than the usual, just pop up and drop. So I'm, I'm hoping for that because the technicals indicate we are very over, oversold. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You can see it right into the featured content. You hit that button and you are off to the races. Basil, have a great one, safe one, and we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank Talk you. To you